Hello and welcome to this week's class. All you're going to need today is a mini ball and your Pilates mat or your yoga mat, whatever you have. Today we're going to move really slowly and controlled and we're just going to enjoy every part of the move, every single move. But we're going to have a lot of focus at the beginning of the class on footwork. Uh, when we keep our feet strong, the rest of your body is just going to thank you in every single way. So strong feet, strong foundation. I will let you grab your equipment and I will see you in a moment for your class. So today we're going to be using a mini ball and our focus is going to be a lot to do with the feet and keeping them strong because when your feet are strong, the rest of your body are going to be really thankful. So with that in mind, we're going to start with a mini ball on the floor. And what I'm going to ask you to do is get your feet into a parallel position but take your right foot up against the ball. So the arch of the foot is supported by it. The heel is fully supported by it, but you've got equal weight in all five toes of that foot. And then when you're ready, just line your left foot up as well. So it's really important to have this alignment. I would like you to make sure that that knee isn't drifting out to the side of the room. So just rein it in a little bit. And then we're gonna start by lifting the other heel up really high and you're going to feel the calf muscles switch on and then slowly press that heel down and I want you to imagine like there's a balloon underneath the foot so the heel can't just come down in a hurry so we lift up really high and then slowly imagine you're pressing down against something now I'm going to take my hands into my hips so I've got a bit of an awareness here of the position of my pelvis Slowly taking that heel down. Let's go for three more. I inhale, lift. And I exhale. I really feel this articulation through the sole of the foot as I press my heel slowly down. And it's really the slower the better with these moves. Give me two. Slowly pressing down. Last one. We lift up. Good morning, everyone that's just joining us. Hold it here. Now imagine you've got another mini ball in between your knees. So your knees can't drift out to the side. So you feel like you're pressing into something. And I'm going to do a little plie here. Now the foot that isn't on a ball, we're going to really focus. Let me go to the side. But that heel isn't dropping. So my tailbone's just sinking down towards the mat. And then I'm lifting up. So we don't want the bum poking out. Feel like you're pressing the front of the ankles forwards the whole time. And we lift. Let's just go for, oh, let me find my ball. Give me three more, please. Little plie. And lift. Think about keeping the ribs drawn in. Strong through the rib cage. Give me two. So squeezing on that imaginary ball between your knees. And one more time, please. Little plie. Get the other heel really high and pulse for me. Small and controlled. Remember, the bottom isn't poking out. Give me three. And two, one, hold it, and then lengthen up towards the ceiling and release. So now we are going to have both feet on the ball, both heels on the ball before we do the other side. So let us get the feet nice and close together. Okay, find where the pelvis is again, a bit more wobbly with both feet on here. I'm keeping my legs together and I'm going to do a little plie here. And then come on. Yeah, take your arms wide. If you need your arms wide, absolutely fine. If you need a little chair to hold on to, you absolutely can. I might need a chair at some point today because I've done this class already today. Oh, and my legs are shaking already. Give me three. And we speak all the time in Pilates about the importance of footwork. It's going to keep your ankle stability strong. So if you're a runner, this is wonderful for that. We're working straight into our pelvic floor here with our legs squeezed together and working our feet. Hold it here. And we're pulsing up and down. So I'm not telling you to clench your pelvic floor. You don't even need to think about it. It's working just fine by doing these movements. Give me three, two, hold it. Lengthen up Ooh, and switch sides. So obviously you can't, your feet can't be together, but we're still in this strong parallel position. 
We've got a tendency to roll into the little toe here. So I need us to think big toe connection, right foot lined up with the left foot. Again, have your arms wherever you wish. And then we just come on up to that little releve. Press the front of the ankle forwards. And then slowly pressing down on something. So I imagine it's like a balloon I'm pressing my foot against. So it can't come down in a hurry. You're slowly pressing the air out of that balloon. And I'm feeling the arches of my feet working pretty hard already. Give me three. And down. And two. Have you got that big toe connection? And lower, slowly stretching out the sole of the foot. Last one, please. Again, imagine you've got a ball between your knees and we do a little plie. So don't let your knees drift and lift. Your plie might be tiny and that's fine as long as your tailbone is sinking down to the mat rather than popping out to the wall behind you. We're not trying to tuck it between our legs. I almost feel like there's an imaginary wall behind me in the back of the head, back of the rib cage, back of the pelvis, all in alignment, just gliding up and down that wall. Give me two. Watch where your knees are going. And lift. Last one, please. Oh, I really feel my feet working. Coming up. Bit higher. And release it down. Wonderful. So now we're going to work in a bit of a turnout. So because we're going to have one foot on the ball, we actually can't keep our heels together. So we're not in a first position, but I start in parallel and then I spin my thigh bones outwards, opening the front of the hips, working the bottom. Okay, then I'm going to take my right heel onto the ball. Wonderful. Make sure the toes are lined up again. Really important. And we're just going to come up to a little releve, so lifting up onto the toes and then slowly pressing down. Give me five. It's like there's an energy coming from the crown of the head, lifting you up and then taking your time to stretch out the foot. And four. And lower. I'm going to inhale on my lift. Feel like I'm floating up on that in-breath. Take it down. Remember we press the front of the ankle forwards to get deeper into the calf and get that heel a bit higher. Softly down. Get ready to hold it up please. Right, so all toes have weight in them. Front of the ankles are pressing forwards. Nothing else moves apart from your knees bend. And we lift up. Now we can't squeeze our legs together here, but I'm having on the lift a sensation that I'm trying to squeeze them together. Can we now inhale, go down? And as you exhale, come up the pelvic floor, the diaphragm work together. This is why these are really good exercises for your pelvic floor. The breath and the footwork and the slight wobbling Coming up tall and strong. And we take it down, getting ready to hold. Remember your bum is still not poking out. Pulse, pulse. Can you lift the heel a bit higher? Give me four. Oh, my legs are really shaking now. Three, two, one. Come up tall, a bit higher, and release. Right, so <laughs> this is where I really start wobbling. I nearly fell over in my 7 a.m. class. We're going to be in a first position. Okay, so both feet on the ball. I'm going to keep my heels together. Once I've found that connection, I'm just going to hold it here. A little bit of a wobble going on. I want you to feel the, where the legs are turning out, the muscles wrapping around. I feel really strong in this turnout. I feel my bum muscles are switched on without forcing anything. It's just happening. Okay, up to you where your arms are again but the tailbone goes down for our plie. And as I lift this time, I really can squeeze the legs together. Don't clench any muscles. Just thinking about bringing the leg bones together as close as possible, then all of those muscles are gonna work really well. Give me four. Exhale, 
lift. And three. Be taller and stronger each time. Try some more, please. Just let the shoulders go a bit easier. And lift. Last time. And you know we're going to pulse. Give me six. Five. Can you squeeze your heels together a bit more? When I squeeze them straight away, I feel my bum muscles really starting to work. Give me three, two, one. Hold it. Can you go lower? And lift and squeeze. Release, well done. Oh, my feet really feel like they need a break. We are going to be in our turnout. So again, our heels can't be connected. I've got little lines on my mat, so it's quite handy to help me see that I'm nice and lined up. Okay, and we come up to our releve. Feel the calf, and then slowly feel the stretch. Come up a little higher each time. Feel the feet strengthening, and then you've got more space for movement on the way down, so you get a deeper stretch. Give me four. And release. Oh, I'm slightly warm. I might need to turn the heating off in a minute. Give me three. Who would know that working your feet is quite this challenging? Give me two. Higher. Lengthen down. Last time, please. Lift it up. Okay, just find this connection with our big toes. All the way around to the little toes. So you're strong. Heels a little higher. And we plie for six. And those knees press a bit wider. And then again, that sensation of trying to squeeze the legs together. Inhale down. Exhale lift. So I've got my thumbs on the back of the pelvis. It's reminding me not to let my bottom poke out like a duck. Lift. Squeeze. Two. Oh, I'm so shaky. Make sure you're not just rolling into the little toes here. Last one. Take it down and pulse, and pulse, lift those heels higher, give me three, the foot on the board is shaking like mad, two, one, oh my leg's going crazy, lift up, higher, and take it down, oh well done, give your feet a little bit of a wriggle out, I have to turn the heating off quickly before I actually melt on the mat, okay, so we're going to go into some more footwork, but we're gonna just target the foot by working on some standing balance. So can we please take our ball, we're gonna, <laughs> Carol, if you keep dropping your ball today, just, just leave it on the floor. It doesn't matter if you can't keep the ball between, behind your knee. But we're gonna try and tuck it behind our right knee. I've got quite shiny leggings on today, so this might be a struggle. My arms are down by my side, I'm gonna lift my knee up. Okay, so straight away, I feel that left foot kind of twitching around, working. I'm going to do a hinge at the hips. I reach my arms forwards as I lift my knee high. And then I just reverse it, come up to your starting position. I squeeze on the ball a little bit to connect the back of the leg, reaching my arms to counterbalance my leg that's lifting. And I come on up now. Oh, I'm glad I've got a wall here. My left foot is really working now. Just give me two. Make sure you're not holding your breath. And lift, no set breath pattern. Just let the breath flow, but don't hold it. Last time, please. Give me that hinge, give me that reach. And we lift on up. And release. Oh, so I don't know about you, but that foot really, really feels like it's working. And obviously our balance is super important too. So we're gonna switch legs. Just notice the difference on one side to the other. I may actually fall over on this side. Okay, so find that strong connection in your right foot. Arms heavy, lift that knee high, just getting into the front of the hip. Find something to focus on if that helps as you reach. Don't look at me wobbling, that's never ever gonna help you. Can you lift your knee higher? And then we come up tall, and the knee comes into our chest as the arms go back a bit. Give me three. Put your belly button up towards your backbone. 
Ooh. and lift my balance is shocking it never seems to get better two and back to your standing position final time please reach it back lift it up as you reach your arms forwards and we finish by lifting the knee to our chest one last time Oh, and release it down. Oh my goodness. Okay, right. We are gonna. I'm gonna be a bit kinder now. We're gonna sit on our mat, and we're just gonna take our ball in between our ankles. Actually, knees bent to begin with. We're just gonna start with a little bit of roll up work. We're gonna start with our hands behind our thighs. So I just want you to take a deep breath in and sit nice and tall, and exhale completely. And again, breathing in, feeling like you're almost floating off of your sit bones. And exhale completely. This time, as you inhale, just give me a little bit of a round out, a bit of a seated cat stretch. And as I exhale, I squeeze onto the ball a little bit, lift myself up. Two more like this. Inhale, spin your pelvis under you. Nod your chin to your chest, pull your belly button up and under your rib cage. Exhale, lift the breastbone up between the arms. Last time like this, and this is a, if this is enough for you today, you can absolutely work here on flexing the spine. Or you can take your arms away, just loading them over a little bit more and inhale round. I can go down a little lower when I'm not holding my legs. I'm trying to get rid of any crease in the front of my trouser legs there. And then I exhale, come up and forward. So I'm just gonna go for a couple more like this, please. So spin the pelvis, your chin's nodded gently towards your chest. Again, I'm looking to get rid of any openness, uh, any, any crease in the front of my hips, so they're nice and open. And coming up. I'm going to go for one more and then again we might take it up a level but it depends how you feel today what you want from your workout just pause here with the hips nice and open can you let the shoulders come forward a little bit more without creasing this we've got this lovely flexion of the spine and we come on up now i'm going to take my legs along and i'm going to go into my horseshoe position so again you can work at the level before if you wish i'm squeezing on my ball I'm under a low ceiling here, but my belly button is pulling up and under my rib cage to hollow the belly. And I start rolling down towards the mat. But I'm imagining someone's pulling my arms forward. Someone's got my wrists there, pulling the arms forward, but the mat is sucking me down. When I go all the way down, I reach my arms to the floor behind me. And then I lift them up. Remember that low ceiling, so you don't sit up really tall, but you're trying to hollow out the abdomen area. Everything's reaching forward. So in Pilates, there's always a two-way stretch. So your heels are pressing forwards, your fingers are pressing forwards, but the belly button pulls back. And we start melting our spine down. We're just trying, just trying to find each and every vertebra individually. Last time, please. Breathing the entire time. I squeeze on the ball on my lift. And reach and then sit tall and we're going to reverse that we're going to take that into our rollover so we're going to lay down and do a bit of a shoulder bridge to tuck the ball underneath our pelvis make sure it's in a good position for you then press your arms down to the mat neck long ribs dropped heavy lift one leg up followed by the second leg okay we're going to reach both legs up to the ceiling I would like you to keep them straight, but let them just come in a bit closer towards you. Feel how that stretches the back of the leg, but the lower back out as well. Now I'm gonna circle the legs away from each other. They go down away from me. I stay strong through my center there. The legs come in towards me, and then I'm gonna take it to my rollover. I'm tapping my toes towards the floor. I'm looking up to my knees and I flex my feet. Part your legs so your feet are shoulder distance apart. 
Now, can you press into those hands a bit more? You're just looking up towards the ceiling between your legs. And on your way down, you're trying to find each vertebra individually again, like we did in the last move. Your pelvis fits down. Point your toes, circle out, down. Legs come together, they squeeze together, they start coming closer and closer, and then the pelvis has to follow. Tuck your toes down towards the mat. If they hit the floor, you can really actually tuck your toes under so you've got a bit of resistance. You'll stretch down the back of the legs. Part your legs, melt your spine down, you're pushing through the heels the whole time. And you point your toes and we circle out, away. We've just got one more, please. Press into your hands and your shoulders to lift you over. Drop those toes, flex your feet, part your legs. Remember, you're looking up to the ceiling and slowly, slowly come down and just feel that beautiful stretch down the back. One more time, we're just gonna circle the legs out and away. And then we're gonna go for a little bit of scissor work. So take your right leg away from you, left leg towards you. I don't want you the leg to bend, and this leg's really strong here. I'm just feeling that stretch through the front of this hip, down the back of the other leg. We pulse and pulse to enhance the stretch and switch through space. We pulse and pulse, so think. If the legs are floppy, we're not gonna get as much of a stretch as we wish. Obviously, there's some stability work here as well because we're, we're laying on a ball, you know, we're not on the hard floor. So these deep muscles are getting worked out too. Give me three, give me two, and one. Okay, so for the last time, we take the right leg down away from us and our left leg towards us as we did. We're gonna bicycle. I bend the right knee and my toes meet the floor. I draw the toes up towards the ball and I switch legs. We did this on our side last week. Remember all of the different elements that we're getting. We're not just flapping the legs out. We're getting a stretch down the back of the leg, a stretch down the front of the hip. We're getting a stretch down the lower back as the knee comes into our chest. When you're ready, change direction. Let's just check in again on our neck. Knees up to the ceiling. Press firmly into your hands. They'll be meeting the floor each time with our foot. Give me three and two. Last one. Take your feet to the floor, please. Lift your bottom, just remove the ball, take it to one side and draw both knees into your chest. So for anyone that sits down at their office desk for most of the day, those bicycle moves are really good, bicycle and scissors. Right. Right, right, so again, we're going to take the stability away by using the ball. We're going to go to single leg circle. So I'm going to take the ball at the bottom end of the very middle of my mat, and I'm going to take the back of my left ankle on it. So most of you have done this with me before. So I am going to push through my left heel, and I feel like I'm pulling my left big toe back towards my nose. So you feel the back of that leg really working. That leg is suddenly very strong. Lift your right leg up, please and tuck your hands behind the thigh. So we've stretched already, but we'll go for a couple more. We just reach the right leg up. Are you still pushing for your left heel? And then soften the knee into your chest, tug in tighter. Twice more, please. We reach. And we bend. We reach. Pause there for a moment, just pull into the leg to lift your head up. Watch your left big toe isn't drifting up to the side of the room. Put your head down and press your arms into the mat. So for me, I'm a bit tight down the back of this leg, so I'm going to bend my knee a little bit to get that thigh closer to my belly. We're going to do our single leg circle. So take the leg over the body, down and up. Give me four more, please. We know what our right leg is doing. We do this all the time. I want you to think about what the ball is doing. The ball is still, give me two. And one. Change direction, five more please. So I would prefer you to have a little bend in this right knee if it means you can get more from the move. Can you get that thigh bone over your navel? Again, this is our secret ab workout. Give me two. 
Is your ball quiet and still? Last one. And then hug that knee into your chest, hand on top of the shin there. Pull it in to ease it off. And when you're ready, we switch legs. So again, the ball is fairly central. We've got a tendency to drift out to the side. Hands behind your left knee, pulling it in. Push through your right heel. Draw the right big toe back towards you and kick your left leg out for three. And bend. If you hit a tight spot, you breathe deeper rather than hold your breath. Give me two. And bend your chin. I'm pushing through that right heel the entire time. Last time, please. Pick it up. Press your arms down. If your leg is shaking, like mine is, bend the knee a little bit. What's happening with your right big toe? Give me five circles. So you know with these moves, I want your pelvis to be able to move, but by having the ball there, it's just reminding us that you are in control of the movement of the pelvis. Last time, please. Change direction. Pressing firmly into those hands. Gazing directly up to the ceiling, please. Giving me three ribs that dropped heavy. And two, this tree is tickling my toes. And one more, please. Hands upon the shin, pull the left knee into release. Let your right foot go floppy. Again, there's a lot of footwork in this, this bend and uh, this flex and point that we do. And then take your hands behind your left thigh, lift your head up and rock yourself up. We're gonna go for a bit of a spine stretch here. So we are gonna have our feet mat distance apart. Please, the ball just between your legs, hands on the ball. Can you sit tall with straight legs? If you can, happy days. If not, bend the knees a little bit. I said on Monday class, somebody, somebody said something to me recently, my trainer. I find it effortless to sit with my legs long, but this is because I do it all day. If you sit at your desk all day in this position, you're gonna be very good at that. You know, our bodies just adapt to what we do. So if you're fighting your legs, just be kind to yourself, soften them a little bit. The main focus I want is the back of the head, back of the rib cage, and the pelvis to be lined up. Just take a deep breath in and breathe out, stretch forward. Now I'm trying to almost look up and under my rib cage. And let's inhale, stack the spine up. Just articulating up. And exhale, peel off of that imaginary wall behind you until you're looking all the way up under the rib cage. And then inhale, stack the vertebra one upon the other. Give me three. And exhale completely. And then you can inhale a bit deeper on the way up. Two more, lovely work, stretch. I feel it's really nice and fluid with the ball to press against. I feel like I get more from my spine. Last time, please. And lift. And I'm going to bring you onto your side and we're going to do a bit of side movement of the spine with the ball under your rib cage. We did it in side plank last week, which was really quite tricky, a bit mean. We did it over a chair the week before. Now we're going to do it as a release. So we just stretch over our ball. I want you just to think about your ribs are facing forward, your hip bones are both facing forward. Just release for a moment. Take a moment just to breathe. Let your head go heavy, that just ease throughout the whole body. As you breathe in, I want you to feel the breath into this top side of the rib cage. Really breathe into it. And then exhale, completely have a sense of letting go. Again, inhale. Exhale, completely release over the ball. Stretch your fingers and toes longer. Last time like this. And then we're gonna add a little bit of a side crunch just with the upper body to begin with. So we inhale to prepare. 
We exhale, lift the arm up to the ceiling and then the back of the hand taps to your thigh. I press into the hand on the floor and looking to the fingertips. So remember we did this in the plank last week. This is so much nicer, take it over and stretch. Imagine I'm there pulling your wrist and pulling your ankle when you're as long as possible and then we crunch up. And inhale, go as long as you can. Exhale up. So we're still within those two panes of glass. So we can't roll too much here. And lengthen out. Now I'm going to add a leg lift. It's completely up to you. But as I lift my leg and my upper body, I'm working deeper into this mu these muscles here. And take it over and long. Two, exhale up. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale up. Relax the legs. Let's take the ball and tuck it between your ankles. We lay long and we're going to lift from the other end now. So both legs are going to lift. Still within two panes of glass. So just go careful where your top hip goes, please. Lift both legs up, squeezing your ball, lower halfway. Lift it up to four. And a little release. Three, connecting with that ball, but not squeezing the life out of it. A little lower. Two. Try not to grip onto the mat quite as much as I am with this bottom hand, this top hand, sorry. Last one, hold it there, pulsing. Connecting with the ball, give me three, two, hold it high. I spin my legs around the ball, but the ball is still in space. And I take it the other way. And I spin around the ball. And then back. Can you get your legs higher? Last one each direction. Spin back, a little higher. Come to parallel. Take it down. We're going to go into a side, uh, like a twisted teaser. So I'm going to lift into a teaser, but if you need to bend your legs, if that's better for you today, you absolutely can. So I press into the hand on the floor. It glides up and we come up. If you want your legs bent here, that's absolutely fine. And then I slowly, with control, come down. Oh, I'm so wobbly. Give me two. Teaser up. And release with control. The down movement to me is probably the trickiest bit. Last time, teaser up. And slowly, slowly down. Oh, okay, and then I'm just gonna spin you over so we do the other side. So first of all, let me keep an eye on the time. Okay, we're good, we're good. Ball under the rib cage, bottom leg bent, so nice bit of stability and just side stretch. How often do we actually side bend in our life? Probably not often. And then we expect our side bend to work really well when we need it to, and we're not prepared for it. So just enjoy having this moment, these few moments to release into it. Breathing in again to the top sides of the ribs. Exhale, that sense of letting go. Breathing in a bit deeper this time, a bit fuller. Lungs to their full capacity. And then exhale. One more set of breaths like this. Notice how your body is at ease, completely relaxed here. And then we add our side bend. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, just the arm and the head. Turns. Pressing into that hand on the floor a little bit and then inhale, lengthen out for me. Two way stretch. Exhale. Just check in on that top hip. You go longer, longer. Last time, please. Lift and reach. And take it long three with the leg lift if you wish and we lift so this is prepping us for our twisted teaser 
and over. Exhale up for two. Maybe lift a bit higher and then lengthen out longer. Last time, please, coming up. So I'm going to be pressing into the hand on the floor for extra height. Ooh, don't lose your top hip like I just did. Remove the ball, take it between your ankles and lengthen out. So again, try not to grip on too much on this hand on the floor. First legs lift. Straight away, I feel that bottom inner thigh really working and a little lower, not all the way down. And four, when we lower, can you not just ooh, drop? Can you slowly come down? Three, lengthen. Little release. Two, slowly down. And one, hold it there. Bit higher, bit longer, and pulse for five, four, three, two, hold it. So the ball stays still, it's just the legs twist around it. And they twist the other way. Oh, it's harder this side for me. And twist around it. And take it the other way. Oh, one more time. Each direction, please. Spin around. Spin back. Come to parallel. Lift a bit higher. Take it down. So hopefully you are really feeling the obliques working. Are we ready? Twist to te teasers. Inhale. Exhale. Come on up. And inhale. Down with more control than I'm going. In two, twisted teaser. Legs a bit higher. Ah, I'm so shaky. And take it down. <laughs> Last time, please. I feel like I'm on one of those plates that vibrates. Do you know what? <laughs> Do people still use those? And slowly down. <laughs> well, and roll onto your tummy, please. Cross your forearms, keep the ball between your ankles. Now, I would love it if we could press into those forearms to lift our breastbone up and lift our gaze. But if you would like to, you could rest your forehead down. Okay, there are your two options. But I quite like this lift so I know I'm getting into that thoracic spine. Connect with your ball, lift your legs, reach them longer. Bend the knees. The knees actually lift higher and you feel the stretch down the quads. Reach long, maintaining the height and then lower down. Four more. Lift and squeeze. Bend, lift higher. Reach it longer. And down. Give me three. And bend. And reach. Your knees didn't just drop. And lower. Two. Breathing the whole time. Really getting as much as you can from each of the moves. Final time, please. So it's a long hover and it's a bend a little higher and a reach. Take it down. We're just going to press into rest position. On the way back, I grab the ball, remember through my legs, take under my hands and I can press against the ball to deepen my stretch. So again, tailbone is, is tucking between your legs, eyebrows coming towards your knees. Knees are together here. And the ball presses forwards. Breathing, noticing the movement of the rib cage again. And when you're ready, we're going to lay on our tummy for a little bit of swan dive type work with long arms today. So my legs are going to be together in a parallel position. I've got my hands or the wrists on the ball, whatever works for you. First of all, I'm just pressing the ball forwards and my nose is down to the mat. Now, I just want to get into that thoracic extension again. So, I press my hands into the ball to lift my gaze up. Keeping my arms straight, I pull the ball towards me. Lovely, don't let the elbows bend. I lengthen out the front of my body. Slowly but surely, my nose comes down, I reach my arms longer. So, first of all, press down onto the ball to lift. Keep the arms straight as you pull in. Stretch out, belly button comes down, ribs come down, breastbone, nose, get as much from it as you can. Last time, pull, uh, press down to look up. Pull in to lift higher. You can allow the front of the hips to come down if you wish. 
the lower halfway down, you're looking up but your arms are reaching, hover your legs and swim, just swim the legs. Keep the breastbone lifted, gazing up the wall in front of you, nothing else is moving apart from the legs. Give me five and four, keep breathing. Keep an eye on the time, give me two and one. Take your legs down, bring the ball in and go into your rest position again, please. And then we're gonna get into the hips and into the abs a little bit. So just a little stretch here. Give my bottom a wiggle as I press the ball forwards and I pull it towards me to bring myself up. The next move, we're gonna do it in our popped up position. The ball is gonna be between like my ankles and the bottom of my calves here. If for any reason this doesn't feel right for you, you can do all of this laying on your back, but let, you know, if we've got any shoulder issues, but we could start here. I'm lifting my breastbone up into my t-shirt. I'm looking two sides of the way up the wall in front of me, and I'm gonna do a single leg stretch. One leg goes long, one thigh comes in, and then I switch. So the ball is just rolling up one leg and then the other. Give me three. Give me two, everything else still and quiet. Give me one. Take both legs long. Bend them in and reach them long. Bend them in, nice and tight. Reach them long. Give me three, so lifting through the breastbone, pressing the mat away from you with your forearm. So you're super strong, two. And one reach them long, bring them up higher to the ceiling. The thigh bone doesn't move, we just bend the legs and we straighten up and we bend the legs of course. So look, the knees aren't actually moving, they're just bending and straightening. Give me three, lift, two, lift. Last time we bend, now the bend of the knee doesn't change, we go for toe taps for five. Squeeze the ball to lift. Your abs don't start popping out into your t-shirt. Four. You might not even go all the way to the floor. Listen to your body. Give me three. And lift. And two. I need to wiggle forward to the next move and lift. So the next move, we're going into an open leg rocker. Bend, lift, take your legs up. Can we walk our hands up our legs? Keep your arms straight and roll back for four and come to your balance. Squeeze that ball for that connection. Three, so it's a very narrow legged open leg rocker. Two, just imagine there's a line down your mat and you're rolling your spine down that line. Can we, oh the teaser, can you remove the ball? Can you take her under your bra line? Take your feet to the floor. Oh, and extend over it. When you're ready, just take your hands behind your head. And release. And we lift. Inhale, release. Don't pull your head up with your hands. You're just supporting the head on the way down. Exhale up. We're not punching too much. We're actually just Enjoying this is mobilizing the upper back. Two. Elbows go wider each time. And one. Release it over. And just help yourself up so you can tuck the ball under the head. Okay, so make sure your head's out of the way. Your neck and your head are being fully supported by the ball. You're going to have your arms down by your sides, a bit wider than your mat with your palms up to the ceiling. Close your eyes. Bring your focus back to your breath. Deep and slow, deliberate breath. And then just let your head roll down one side of the ball. Stretching out the other side of the neck. And then change sides. And just give me four more, so twice each direction. Can you start to notice, please, if one side is tighter than the other? I 
it's always just enjoying having the time to listen to any feedback our body is giving us. Last time, please. And come to center and just start circling the head now. The head is fully supported by the ball the entire time. The circles are quite big, they're quite relaxed. Just enjoying creating that mobility and stretch. And when you're ready, change direction. Oh, I wish we had longer for this. This is definitely my favorite part of the class. And when you're ready, just come to centre, centre, with your eyes still closed. Breathe in to the count of four, three, two, one, and pause. Exhale, two, three, four, and pause. And then count to four again on the inhale, feeling your ribcage rise. And then exhaling, counting down from four. There's a pause. And again, inhaling. And holding. And then exhale completely. And then we just allow our breath to return to normal. Opening your eyes when you're ready, but just keeping a soft gaze while we almost transition to being back in the room. And you either dance or don't need to jump up. Make sure you don't jump up too quickly. Thank you very much for joining me today.